how should the government create more jobs because mm -hmm. it's going to result in several state elections it's yes. going to impact politically it's yeah. going to impact on many parents on yeah. how they want to send their kids to which stream yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. for job creation job yeah. it's yeah. it's become a major issue now i i think you know there are there's a there's a very good question uh, underlying that there are three four questions here yes, you know yes. um, i think the first part i actually want to mention is um, you know when it comes to employment creation and you know mm -hmm. and and the employment scenario i uh, you know again using data i actually want to share that uh, the negative narratives on this have actually run far ahead of the evidence um, mm -hmm. and you know a lot of the negative narratives have typically come using the cmi data you know which yeah. i actually um, i don't find it reliable uh, in mm -hmm. even when was with the government when good news came on employment of cmi i couldn't i wouldn't use that because i was Our not sure a good friend shamika ravi has the same thing to say <laughs> so, yes and and i would actually then you know was it is it news or is it noise actually you yeah. know that's something which is very hard to uh, if you look at you know high quality data plfs data for instance and you know this is you take the ilo report on the indian employment scenario you know go and search cmi actually go a text search go basically read you won't find a single mention of cmi uh, but ilo ilo uses the plfs data data because it is high quality um you know using plfs and using for instance a clems database mm. um clems database is also a high quality you know database I, from the vantage point i occupy at the imf it is basically available not just for india but across countries and this is something that actually is seen to be high quality across RBI, which is an independent institution, used the clems database to assess the employment creation over the last 10 years and what do they find they find that overall 12 and a half crore jobs have been created over the last 10 years of which 3 and a half crores are in agriculture set that aside agriculture so just non agriculture jobs 9 crore jobs have been created that means on average 90 lakh jobs have been created over the last 10 year on average in a year so this is something that is that doesn't suggest that basically employment has not been created you know as i said this is one area where again like we spoke about in the context of agriculture you know there are those that actually you know maybe benefit from from pushing this narrative that Cassandra's, employment yeah. that that, mm. that you know employment has not been created now that said i'm not saying that employment is actually is not something that need, should not be focused upon just because we've done you know good work on that doesn't mean we have to you know we have to focus on if like even if let's say i've gotten 70 marks out of 100 you know i would still work hard to get 90 95 and that is and that's why the focus mm. on employment creation in this year's budget i think is something that's a very welcome you know i mm. i i li like that in particular mm. and here you know i think um, as as we were speaking earlier as well when we think about the four pillar strategy mm. for social and economic inclusion jobs are really the most critical we were talking mm. about I, remember my you know my 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 dad earlier right mm. um mm. you no know, if for instance if he did not have a job in the formal sector there's no way he would have been able to educate me and my you know and 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 my younger brother and as a result of him educating not just you know we got uplifted actually my my kids and then their generation think about you know so many generations actually benefit that is what is the power of a job in the formal sector even one that actually is not so well paying he was as i said he was actually in the clerical rates for but that is the power. if if that job was not there he might have actually maybe been in the informal sector and maybe in that case i wouldn't have been able to be educated the way you know so that shows the But importance the of the informed choices that he would make and then subsequently you would make exactly as a result exactly of that. so i think you know jobs i think are a national priority because we have a young population hmm. and you know when i go back and look i'm i'm sure it must be the case with you as well the possibly on one of the best days that we remember best days we remember is when we got our first job mm. because it is actually so uplifting to a person's own identity um, yeah. and not only does it actually have an economic impact as i just mentioned it has an impact on actually a person's self worth yeah. and therefore jobs are really critical and i think that is an area where you have to continue working skilling is really important here you know making sure that skilling is demand based i think which is an effort is now being made using the the policies that have been announced especially mm. i like the intern yeah. internship idea and i think you I'll, mentioned that in your book also yeah. that uh, the jobs have to be skilling and jobs have to go hand in hand correct and yeah. and here i think you know it's uh, it's important also to focus on the itis huh. you know we focus on iits a lot 
Huh. But I think ITIs also actually are a really critical because they are the ones that provide the skills huh. to be go to go and work in the manufacturing. But you sector. remember when you got admission into IIT, if you had ever said that I want to do ITI, you no, know the stigma that was associated I, I, then. I think you know I I and and that's a I'm really glad you brought that up. I think you know I I. I I don't want to sound uh, you know uh, um, sort of uh, in, in a way that comes out negative, but think about it, right? I mean, I was as I said, I was privileged that my you know my, my father provided me the education, and I and I think for me getting into IIT was the jump function in my life. I still regard that as. Um, at the same time, those let's say who you know are working in an informal sector job, maybe they're actually those that they're selling you know dab, let's say you know coconut water on a tailor, for instance, or you know they're selling let's say you know these these uh, um, in Sarojini Nagar, they're selling let's say belts or wallets, etc. Mm -hmm. If they work in the formal sector, they actually will not face as much uncertainty in the revenue. They have a manufacturing sector job. Mm -hmm. um, they would, you know, earn earn well, um, and the uncertainty gets reduced because if you if these people, for instance, they may earn let's say thirty thousand rupees this month, maybe this next month they may only earn twenty thousand, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And that uncertainty also has an impact on consumption, right? Mm -hmm. um, aggregate consumption actually gets. If you think about as a individual household level as well, we go and actually buy a new car or let's say a new a better house only when we get a promotion because we know that our income is actually you know yeah. reduced has, uncertainty has reduced and we're actually going to get higher income yeah. Th that operates for end, every household yeah. so I think jobs are important at the micro level of every individual for his self uh, his or her self worth for you know his economic or his or her economic welfare at the same time also at the macroeconomic level because jobs will create a middle class they'll create that'll spur consumption and thereby you know economic growth as well Click here to watch the full episode.